Good day. This is Dr. John Bennett in Miami, Florida, home of Neurosurgical TV. We have another Neurosurgical Super Sunday with Ipe Cherian. The title this week is going to be The Ergonomics of Neurosurgery. Uh, let us introduce the panelists first before we turn it over to Ipe. Hello, Marco. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Marco Meloni. I'm consultant neurosurgeon in uh, Gravedona, North Italy. Yeah, well, a, a frequent participant. Hello. Welcome, Marco. Hello, Dr. Cabullo. Are you there? You may have stepped away. Oh, go ahead, Dr. Cabullo. Yes, hello, everyone. My name is Cabullo uh, from Democratic Republic of Congo. Currently, I'm final year in Europe, resident at the University of Zimbabwe. Very good. From the Congo. Okay. Musindo, are you there? Musindo, can you hear me? Hey. Go ahead, Musindo. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, Musindo. Go ahead. Yes, I am Musindo, resident of neurosurgery in Maputo Central Hospital in Mozambique. Mozambique. Okay, very good. Welcome. Hello, Omer. Welcome back. Uh, hello, everyone. Everybody. Uh, you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Am Amir Badran. I am from uh, Jordan. I am working uh, in Ukraine as uh, head of neurosurgical. From Jordan, working in the Ukraine. Okay, e excellent. Welcome. Okay, I welcome, and it's all yours. Okay, John. Yes. So today we wanted to talk to you about uh, to be a neurosurgeon, everybody, about what is ergonomics in neurosurgery. In fact, neurosurgery is one of the most one of the branches which uh, really do not make use of ergonomics. So, starting with, let's say we're doing very fine very fine work, yet we have drills which are at least 100 grams plus weighing on your hands. You have a microscope which can, you can say it is the least ergonomic thing uh, that you can operate with. You have QSAs which are not ergonomic. You have uh, needle holder dimension not ergonomic. So you you have a position which is not ergonomic. There is a lot of things which are not ergonomic in neurosurgery in the present day. Starting with uh, changing everything, we we want uh, to tell you about some of the things which you can improve with respect to the microscope, with respect to the drills, with respect to other instruments, and of course, with respect to how the surgeon can change with uh, uh, to be more ergonomic with the present, uh, present set of things. Now, first thing first, two cardinal rules of neurosurgery. Number one, you cannot operate what you cannot see. So, which means that when you are looking at something in microneurosurgery, that object has to be in the center of your feet, number one. Number two, that object always has to be in focus. I've seen a lot of neurosurgeons operating off focus. This is something that all the amateurs do. They don't continuously focus. So what happens at the end of the day, they'll be doing something which will seem a little bit. Which will seem a little bit off focus. Which will seem a little bit uh, not clear. And that happens especially when you are not focusing all the time. Second thing is, you are not magnified enough. So when you're not magnified enough, you're not seeing things. So when you're not seeing things, you're not able to be operating properly. So that's the first cardinal rule, that what you don't see, you cannot operate. So the most important thing is, Magnify, focus. 
Magnify, focus. All this, all the time. Any time you're having a difficulty, imagine, are you magnified enough? Are you focused enough? Okay, number one. Number two, unless you're comfortable, you cannot operate well. I've seen some guys sitting with the microscope like that. <coughs> it's so difficult. But believe me, I have a lot of you take a photograph of you operating. And then you will suddenly realize how uncomfortable you are. So to change into being uncomfortable, first thing first, your hands have to be rested. Completely rested. Second, you, the way you're sitting has to be completely comfortable with your head position. You cannot just afford to sit in a funny position or sit with an off-center chair and operate. So these are two important things, whether we have the present set of instruments, whether we have another new set of instruments, these two things are true for every neurosurgery. Magnify, focus, comfort. Three things. Then we will go to things with chases. Now, we have drills. Imagine a 100 gram drill. Let's say something like this. We are holding on to that and doing work. Okay, now what happens? Let's say a good drill, so something like that. Okay, but much heavier than that, and you, you are doing this work. Now, with the current drill, how can you improve that? Improve that work is not to have that drill cable everything hanging on to your hand. So, the first thing you can do is a drill hoist. A drill hoist is nothing, it can be your assistant. Who can be holding, not holding, just supporting the drill cable so that when you drill, you don't have too much of a force on your hand. The drill bit, the drill hoist that we are designing is something like this gimbal. So you can see this gimbal. Edmundo is an expert on these kind of things. So what I will have essentially is I'll have a wristband with a gimbal and this gimbal will take the whole weight of the drill. And I can do my paintbrush stuff with the drill. No weight, the drill will be just floating. The cusa will be just floating. The suction would be just floating. The debrider would be just floating. So I have a gimbal which will essentially help me to have no weights on my hand. Okay, this is our concept number one, which we are working on right now. Second thing is the microscope. You know, you have about 15 kg in your front with the, all the prisms and everything. You have objective lens, you have an eyepiece, and then you you balancing it. Many neurosurgeons have the microscope, which is perma balance, for example. I have a perma balance microscope, Kalzai Spantiro. Many of them don't have it, so you will have to keep on adjusting it, manual adjusting it. Okay, you have the mag lock, which is not balanced all the time, but sometimes you can, mag, you can uh, balance the mag lock. But what is the need for all this? You have just two cameras, Chipoli cameras. Imagine two Chipoli cameras, and on the camera, the camera, these cameras are mounted on a on a maglock arm or a robotic arm. Imagine these cameras can be brought to your field and you can put in a, like something like a Microsoft HoloLens and start operating. There's no need for the microscope. And imagine if we can uh, also put the navigation into it. This is what we are working on right now. We call it the hyperscope. Uh, We've written a chapter already in the UNESCO uh, textbook, and this will be getting published very soon. So we've been working on something which combines the microscope, the endoscope, navigation into one. 
that will take away a lot of uh, things from the theater. Your theater will be much, much freer and it will be much, much easier for you. You know, this is 2019, it's going to be 2020. We cannot work with instruments which are 100 years old or 50. We have the technology telling you, you know. Oop, I think we have some bandwidth issues, so just hang on. Usually it uh, resolves itself. There you go, I, can we, can you hear me? I yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes, it's back on. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, we can. Go ahead, I can you hear me, guys? Yes, yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, good. Okay, go ahead. So we were we were talking about the microscope. We were talking about the microscope. One second, John. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Yes, yes, we can hear you now. We can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. I guess you, you can't hear me, correct? John? Yes. Yes. John? Yes, I can hear you. We can hear you, I, we can, we can hear you. Oh, I can, I can see Edward Valencia. Edmundo? Uh, yes, I can, yeah, we're can using uh, Edmundo. Yes, can I can you hear you. Yes, yes, I can hear you. We can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. No, what I am trying to tell you is... No, I've told you about... No, okay. no, no. What I'll do is I'll mute this. Okay. And you want me to unmute Edmundo? Edmundo? Okay. Yes. I am going to. Edmundo is going to talk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mute. Okay. You want to mute? I can mute you. Like, go ahead. We're getting feedback from different. It is working for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. I want. You know, I have given two concepts now. One is a microscope. One is a drill. I want each one of you to go on record, including senior surgeons like Marco and Amer and uh, Edmundo and Ahmed, Mohamed, each one of you to think about and tell us what are the other things that can be improved, okay? I also am designing another thing called the water knife, which is a laminar flow of water at 2.5 centimeter, it lacked like a knife. So because it is converging and it lacked like a knife at 2.5 centimeter, and anything above or anything below, it will act like a dissector. Okay, so the water water will just be like a dissector. 
so we are calling it precious we are we are calling it precious uh, precious in sanskrit means a water knife okay a knife so we are uh, designing that also that prototype uh, i was uh, last week i was just checking the prototype it's thrilling because it is attached to the drill we are doing it with a company called manman in india and they have made sure that we we combine the drill the water knife together so that uh, um, you know after you drill you can take the water knife hand piece and with the same motor we can uh, uh, work on the water knife so it is really uh, encouraging and even they are they are designing the manman india company is designing the the gimbal with the drill hoist so um, i want you guys to go ahead and talk about the different things i mean i talked to you about the hyperscope i talked to you about the drill uh, how we can uh, take the weights of the drill cues as and everything um, i talked to you about the water knife okay and i want you i want you to give uh, opinions about how we can improve from simple things to uh, complex things on how we can improve the uh, things i mean how we can improve ergonomics and neurosurgery in general so that it becomes easier for people to be in the or maybe marco edmundo at ahmed okay whoever wants to go okay, uh, we were we were discussing about this um, about ergonomics in neurosurgery so uh, one thing we are working in is uh, the the weight of the instruments that uh, already i told you uh, that's very important because uh, if we need to to use our strength to to hold some some instruments is uh, i mean we spend uh, strength in in do that and not in be precise with the surgery and um, another thing could be also the um, cables and pipes that we use uh, uh, sometimes with, with some instruments we need uh, more than one cable and pipes connections and somebody we get a little mess in the in, in our op operating field so all of these things we are trying to to improve and also we, we want to get uh, your ideas your opinions about this this ergonomic in the operating room also uh, another thing we are designing again is uh, you've seen the lila retractor right it's a uh, it's a bit of a pain actually it is uh, good it's very good but it's sometimes it is a bit of a pain so we are designing a retractor which is much more lighter its length can be adjusted and the tightening is motorized you press a small button this thing will tighten you press the another button it will loosen so it is we are using a, a torque we are using a torque generated by a motor so this lila retractor also will change we all this being done with this manman company and you know i usually do not uh, cannot even spend hours with the engineering team but i spent 3 days with them because it was such a joy to watch them how they design things and you know uh, ergonomics can only be brought when we work together with engineers so we've been working with their company in pune and uh, we've been sitting with them and then we, they have a fantastic uh, very very intelligent team and very passionate as well as very uh, you know somebody who is listening to whatever we say so that is the only way we can uh, bring neurosurgery to be at ease otherwise whatever they design we are going to use them without complaining even if they give us uh, this kind of an instrument that's not uh, yeah i mean let's say if they give us uh, an instrument like this and say okay you do a craniotomy with that we do we never complain because uh, uh, we don't think because we don't have time to think so now is the time for us to sit down with the engineers and say this is not what we want the what we want looks like this and then they will design it so that's what we are doing right now so and the three pin you see the three pin uh, i mean it's a, it's a primitive thing you know you need only pressure pressure pads you don't need three pins actually you need the beautiful pressure parts with the head support which can change 
if you take the lock off, you can motorize and change without putting strain on the head. You can change a little bit. You don't have to change the table. I mean, you can change a little bit of angle without really, you know, you, all this can be done. So we are working on, we are working on completely redesigning the three pin. Now with the three pin, I cannot sit with the patient's head on my lap because the three pin has a large uh, rod which limits me going underneath the patient and having the patient on my, literally on my lap to operate. This is the best position to operate. You, you don't have to do this. You can literally operate with the patient in your lap if your three pin design is better. So we are trying to design a completely, and again, a carbon fiber three pin because we have an OAM in theater. And one of the reasons, I mean, an OAM is much, much, we also have the intraoperative three test lab, but uh, a, a, an OAM or an intraop CT is much better for navigation rather than uh, uh, rather than an uh, intraoperative MR because the OAM is right in the theater. We can position the OAM in. The only problem is the three pin and, its, uh, and their uh, counterparts give us a shadow. So um, we, are, we are designing something in carbon fiber, everything, entire thing, carbon fiber, so that the head is right in my lap. We are not using pins, we're using pressure pads. Now, you may think that you, guys, you are crazy because you're not patenting it and you're talking about it already to everybody. The whole purpose of this is to disseminate information and to, you know, to have people to do things. Not to keep it for myself and take a, a patent and then take the money out of it. No, this is not neurosurgery. Neurosurgery or knowledge is about telling everybody, shouting from the rooftop, this is what we want to do because neurosurgery is not ergonomic right now. So we are designing this also. Once we have the, by uh, the next meeting in Kazan, I think we'll have all the six prototypes and then we will check out, check them out in the lab for some time. And then after that, we'll, we'll adapt them. The hyperscope will be something very, very interesting. It will completely finish off microscope, navigation and endoscope. So, Anything else you have ideas? You, you, you think there is something you guys can carry on and talk? Maybe Marco or somebody? Mm, well, mm, I, the, the guys, first can, idea. Can you say us uh, something? Your opinions? Uh, yeah, can I? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, my idea is um, a it's newborn sounds... idea uh, came from my experience. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh. Can you hear me? Right? No, I'm. I'm your sound is not uh, for me. It's not very good. But okay, please carry on. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, my idea came from my experience in a micro disectomy. Usually, uh, to uh, move the, the rods, uh, we use uh, an instrument called uh, 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 is a uh, uh, sprayer with the the, uh, the extremity. As uh, a, a I, c I can't hear you. Can you? Is it audible to you, John? Yes, it is. Uh, I uh, one second. I I just try with my phone. One second. Yeah. Please. Okay. We'll we'll get it to work. Can you just promote me to the panelist, please? Uh, okay. I don't see you in there. I, I don't see you in there. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I yes. Yeah, I see you trying to enter, but. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay, okay you're in now. Okay. You can leave. Can you hear me? Yes, now we can hear you. Okay, John, uh, can you ask, uh, now Marco can start talking? 
Okay, go ahead, Marco. Uh, my idea, uh, hi, panel guys, uh, came from my uh, experience in a lumbar microdiscectomy. Uh, when we need to uh, move the roads to, uh, uh, to see the hernia, we use an instrument uh, that is as a, uh, the, the hand, uh, the instrument is uh, curved uh, this way. I think in, uh, I don't have so much experience, so I ask about uh, to you, Ipe, could be a good idea when you uh, work in a aneurysm on the vascular surgery, have this instrument, but with mobile extremity, it allows you to uh, move uh, uh, if you need to move better on an, uh, an, an arteries, uh, like it could be a perforant, and move uh, uh, a little bit more, uh, you, you don't uh, move all the instrument, but just with uh, uh, pushing, move the extremity. So to do a little bit movement at the extremity and uh, uh, move the vessel, I think will be a good yeah. idea. Mm. Yeah, so... Um... I mean, this is an excellent idea. So what I do is, generally when I have a very deep uh, vessel, I have to mobilize. What I sometimes use is, I, I have the Mitaka arm and I put a dissector on it, a very thin dissector. I put it on the Mitaka arm and then I position the Mitaka arm in such a way that the vessel in the depth is just pushed away a little bit. Yeah. So I, I cannot use any dissector for it because the dissector, uh, because the dissector has to move as a unit, but the Mitaka arm, uh, you know, and the dissector perpendicular to it, you can, you know, what you said right now, Correct. I can just move it a little bit away. Correct. And this you... is a big advantage, actually. but uh, maybe you should, uh, you should just, uh, you know. Uh, you... Some drawing, you mean? Just draw it down and from neurosurgery January 1 when we start we are planning to have uh, drawings from all over the world mm -hmm. and anybody who wants to patent doesn't need to buy to surgery pay, I mean, drawings from all over the world and then we can start and try and start to make it and then you know if it works it works fantastic okay okay I can try to draw for you thank you Jai thank you guys Amir, do you have any input uh, for on the discussion? Are you there, Amir? Hmm. Go ahead, Amir. Let me unmute you here. Okay. Oh, uh, you're muted there. I'm having a lot of sound issues today. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Deepak or uh, Nashadin? Do you have anything to say? There you go, Amir, go ahead. Go ahead, we can hear you now. <clears throat> Hello, Amir? Well, I guess he can't hear me. <laughs> Nashadin, are you there? Uh, I want to say... Uh, go ahead. I want to you can hear me? Yes, we can hear you. I don't have any questions. I want to say thank you for, for, for discuss about how to work with microscope. Yes, it, I, I have uh, a nice mi microscope, a new one. I want to adapt it to to, to new mi microscope. Uh, two years, uh, four years ago, uh, we have uh, Bantera. Microscope. Now we have a uh, hack. It's a new one. It's different, different, different microscope, different uh, adaptation. Okay. Okay, uh, Deepak or Nashadin, can you hear me okay? Uh, any comments or questions of Ipe? Hello, no one's hearing me today, I guess not. 
Okay, I Benny, can you hear me okay, I Yeah, yeah. I guess we can stop it at that. If there is no comments or anything, we can yeah. stop it at that. Yeah, okay. I don't know if it's a sound issue with Deepak or Nashadin. Can you hear me, Deepak? I, don't uh, know you... I can hear you. Oh, okay, good. Could you have any comments for I How you doing, Deepak? Could you please introduce yourself? Hello, Deepak? Uh, Dr. John, it was my sound. It was my voice. I'm Nashadin. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear. We can hear you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I joined late. Just I want to thank uh, Dr. Ipe. Okay. Yeah, I, Ipe uh, is talking about. It was talking. You're welcome. About yeah, it's it's got it's going to yeah, be many recorded. Thanks, many thanks. Okay, it's going to be recorded, and we can send you a copy. That's a, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, I, I don't know if there's any more comments or questions, but if there's not, uh, could we in, uh, could we reach your your associates there, I before we go? Hello, I. Pardon? Can we meet your associates there, please? Yeah, tell me. Here, can, can we meet your associates? Yes, yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, could you please introduce yourself, uh, Edmundo? Hello, uh, I am I am Edmundo from Peru, and now now I'm fellow uh, Viranagar with uh, Professor Ike Chirian. I'm Mohammed from Egypt. I'm a neurosurgeon, and I'm fellow. Okay, welcome, welcome. Okay, uh, we, Edmundo, we, we have a conference on hydrocephalus in Spanish. We'll talk, I'll, I'll send you a note about that. Okay, uh, if you share me the information, I can send to my colleagues, uh, the Spanish speakers, so they can participate as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me just put the, uh, the poster up here uh, quickly. To, to show you, it's on the 11th of uh, uh, I, I any conferences coming up uh, shortly? Hello, I uh, no, I'm not going for uh, anything right now. March, we have Luis Borba's uh, World Skull Base meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, for that, definitely, uh, I, I might be going for that. So, after that, in May, you have uh. Uh, Kazan, the Asian Congress of Neurological Surgeons meeting. Um, so that is another one. And in 2020, uh, well, we have a few. Uh, I mean, in November 20, 20 to 22, we will have uh, our own meeting with the Asian Australasian uh, Neurological Surgeons. So, uh, well, I'll keep you updated. More than that, I'm very excited to have this neurosurgery coach starting from January 1 onwards. Do you want to say a few words about that, I the, the, the neurosurgery coach? Well, uh, see, January one onwards, in January one onwards, we're going to start a neurosurgery coach every month. There's going to be one mentor. January, it is uh, Dr. Atul Goyal, and he's going to show his uh, videos and uh, his uh, surgical videos, do last, some live surgeries. And then I'll be in the panel as well as... Uh, we're going to have some, uh, uh, also some sessions where you can improve uh, your radiology, radiological knowledge, surgical anatomical knowledge. You can improve your hand skills and things like that. So that is what we are aiming to do with neurosurgical coach. Well, and what date is that? The first starts one? from January one. Starts from January one. Okay. And it'll be all throughout 2020 and 2021. Two years. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, let me just sh show you a few uh, conferences that we're televising. And I, uh, I don't think Yuha's going to this one. Uh, he usually does go, but he's not going this year. Uh, this conference is the Neurointerventional Radiology on the 11th of, of January. We're going to televise that in its entirety. Uh, I think you know a few people, I, but I guess Yuha's not going this year. He usually goes, but okay. Let me uh, let me just try to screen share. 
something else. Hold, just give me a second here. I don't go to interventionist meetings, John. I'm sorry? I don't go to interventionist meeting. I I don't believe in this. Oh, okay. I'm so okay. Well, okay. Anyways, this is another conference we're televising for Edmundo uh, from Mexico mostly. Hydrocephalus, hydrocephalia. Yo voy a mandar el flag, <laughs> banner. Uh, okay. Y si tú quieres presentar un amigo, quiere pre yo voy a mandar información. I'm going to send you the information. But we have some openings. Okay. We have some openings, and uh, we'll be glad to accommodate uh, someone that wants uh -huh. to speak about Perfect. hydrocephalus in Spanish. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. I I'd like to thank you very much for coming out again uh, uh, Sunday and uh, uh, January first. I guess we'll be seeing you. Yeah. Be looking forward to that, John. Okay, very good. Thanks, gentlemen, for coming. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very Bye. much, John. Bye.